Hello, Electrac enthusiasts. Uh, it's Ben here. I've got my old GE Electrac tractor, and I'm trying to hook up to it a snow thrower. Uh, we're supposed to get a foot of snow tonight, so I thought now would probably be the best time ever to uh, hook this up. So this is a 36 inch new idea snow thrower, but I'm trying to hook it up here to my old GE Electrac, and this one is an E12. I'm um, just wondering if we can, uh, there we go, AE12, it's, a, it's an E12. Um, it's only running 36 volts, I've just got uh, three big 12 volt gel cell batteries in here. Um, unfortunately, uh, this snow thrower was really not designed to go onto that tractor. Um, just some of the um, exact contact points and all are a little different, so I just want to show you what I've done, maybe you have some ideas for how to do it better. Um, if we just come down here closer, this is one thing that was um, kind of a little crazy, is I could not find a really good way to connect the springs. Uh, for the snow thrower instructions, they actually show um, the springs connecting from like way up here somewhere back to like a bracket that would attach onto here, which of course I don't have. So kind of next best thing, um, I've just got the springs going pretty much vertical right to this piece, and they do assist with the lift, but not fantastically so, um, but better than nothing. Um, possibly there is another uh, bar. Um, this one, uh, how do we get the, the rusty colored one down here, and uh, if I could get that out, then maybe I could run the springs from up here to down there. Maybe that's a possibility. Okay, autofocus is bothering me now. Um, so the other thing I've got going on here is I did uh, double loop the, uh, the tape from the lift. So it's going up and over, down, down around this, and then back up, I just have a bolt slid through here that the end of the tape is hooked onto. Um, I did put some WD-40 in here, and this looks like this spins pretty well. Uh, so that rotates um, with the tape from the hoist, um, so there shouldn't be any wear on it or anything. Um, and it seems like this works, it's not too terrible. Uh, then up here we've got the uh, device to control the direction where the snow throws and this is coming up to here um, I got this bar which was bolted on with just a pair of uh, um, 3 8 bolts going straight through. I actually had to ream out the, the holes in the foot plate here just a little bit to fit those two bolts through. Let's see if we can see from below uh, just had to ream them out a little tiny bit and then just uh, tightened them down good and snug with a wrench and socket wrench. Uh, we can also see right here, uh, it looks like there's a piece that got cut off, but it looks like at some point there was a piece of cross bracing that probably went across like this. A um, couple other interesting things here. Uh, on this handle, this is clearly just a piece of conduit, so I have no idea how much of this is... Um, from the factory versus how much of it is um, homemade. I mean, clearly that conduit bit there, that's homemade. But here the square rod um, has a couple things going for it. For one thing, it had a pinhole here. And at first I thought maybe that would be up above here with a washer to keep it from sliding down too far. But then I realized this whole thing actually telescopes and See, so it kind of slides in there. I put a little WD-40 in there just to grease it up a little bit. Um, but unfortunately, if you pull this out, out too far, what happens is these two parts come apart, that falls down, and <laughs> doesn't work so well for you anymore. Um, I still have one more part um, over here on the floor. I got this big long part here that, as best I can tell, I think this was for a mechanical arm. Uh, back when I had my E10, uh, that did have a mechanical arm for, for lifting front-mounted accessory. or... No, that was for the mid-mount deck. 
but I think you also could rig it up for other things too. So I think this is a mechanical, uh, a linkage for a mechanical arm. Uh, but because I have the electric hoist, it uh, shouldn't do anything. So that's it for now. That is um, how I'm working on uh, getting this hooked up. Uh, I should be able to test it out tomorrow. Um, I do have chains for this. I'll probably be putting chains on here. I also did get some wheel weights a while back, but unfortunately um, I got hurt this last year. I still have problems with my knee, my wrist, my shoulder, and I physically cannot put the wheel weights onto the tractor. Um, I, I just, I don't have the, the strength to be able to hold that and put a couple of bolts through, period. Uh, but I should be able to put the chains on here. And normally in this space, um, there's a pickup truck parked there. I've got a, a 1998 factory-built Ford Ranger electric pickup truck, which is currently parked outside for the moment. So I'm trying to get this all so that I can have the truck in here and still have room to pull straight out that garage door with the snow thrower. Um, when, when the blizzard hits. Okay, so we're not actually quite done yet. Um, before pulling that pickup truck back in here, I want to show you what I got. Uh, there's my garage door, which I need to be able to, uh, get out through. And this is where I have the lawn tractor parked. I did get, uh, some chains on it. Um, I still don't have any kind of weight on the back other than, um, you know, me sitting on there. Uh, so what I've got here is, this is a attic access staircase. I actually have a pretty nice upstairs um, to the garage, but that just flips right up. So I should be able to flip up the staircase, drive right out through here. I just gotta make sure that the pickup truck is back far enough uh, to kind of make that little bit of curve to go up through there. Um, of course, I've got some other Electrac parts that I really don't have any better place to put right now. Uh, rototiller, another mower deck, a rear lift. But I think if I pull the truck all the way to back here, um, I'll have enough room. It'll take up the space here, and I think I can get the tractor around it. We'll find out tomorrow after the big, big, big snowstorm.